everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to my yorker now this is one of the most exciting weeks and it has been a long time coming i can't believe i'm gonna say it but it is moving in week. I jumped on a plane last night. The trucks are arriving very, very early this morning and we are going to finally be unpacking all of the trucks with all of the antiques, the furniture, everything that we have been collecting over the last year for this magical property <laughs> is about to arrive. I am so excited. I also can't wait to show you around. So much has changed. We have so many men on the job at the moment. We've got all the builders in the pool, the painters are in the house, full gardening teams. It's just such an incredible place and it has moved on so much. The kitchen is finished. Last time I showed you guys, they had just laid the concrete. Now we have our dream kitchen. It is so beautiful and my mother has done the most exceptional job. I am going to give you guys the full tour. You've all been asking for it, so I thought, why not? Mummy is here, my dad is here. Mark has been living here for about five or six weeks to ensure that the project is finished to perfection and as I said the enormous trucks are literally just about to arrive they're that big they won't fit up the driveway so we have some really wonderful lads with their vans who will actually decant everything onto the driveway we will then load it into the smaller vans and drive it up I'm in a little swimsuit strapless of course because we don't want tan lines little skirt and my Birkenstocks and I am ready to rumble slicked back hair sorry for the no makeup but it is so warm that I will sweat it off anyway. Also hoping to get a little bit of a golden tan. Anyway, as I said, it's going to be a jam-packed vlog. I can't wait to share everything with you. This place is so magical that I think the goosebumps are going to transpire through the camera. So here we are. <laughs> this is the outside of our beautiful home. It's all coming along. Look at the incredible lanterns that have been hung. It is so beautiful. The pots have arrived and these are going to have some amazing, amazing plants, something bright and vibrant in there. These beds are all going to be planted up. Now you guys will be able to see the first shutters are on and our estate color is pale blue, this beautiful Farrow and Ball colour and I think it is going to be iconic. So the first shutters are on, all of the other windows will have the shutters on. So let's go through the front doors. So you can see they are these enormous wooden masterpieces. Then you walk into the central hall of the house. The painters are still in here. We're currently painting the balustrade. And look at that, it has this amazing skylight at the top which just lights everything up. It's such a bright and beautiful house. Oh my goodness me, and look at that view down there. So it goes all the way around. The painters have probably got another two days until they're finished. And we can finally say adios. <laughs> Now coming through to the kitchen, have you ever seen something quite so beautiful? Always dreamt about having a butter yellow kitchen and here it is, the stunning Carrera marble and look at the oven of absolute dreams. I told you guys <laughs> that everything is arriving. The painters are being very generous and helping us bring this beautiful table in. We've got these amazing antique pieces here and here, which we've actually painted the backs of them butter yellow. Here they come. Oh, well done, guys. Oh, well done. So this piece here is going to go on the back wall. Here is mummy, here she is. So, well done guys. Muchas gracias. So here she is, 
in all her glory. Mummy, talk me through this. I'm, I don't have words. I actually do not have words. The last time I was here. Fantastic, but it oh is my a goodness. very pale butter coloured yellow kitchen. When I was a little girl growing up, it was a colour, a, a vibe to have yellow kitchens, but. Um, I just it never really worked in the UK, no. but then when we bought this, so, it's my happy so you started off with fabrics, and let me see this. This is stunning Schumacher print. <gasps> that is well, absolutely I've got, I've got lots. divine. I can't find them at the moment, but those are two of my inspirations. And what see. are you going to do with these? These are going uh, to be on cushions. I have got little chair pads being oh, made stunning. in yellow bloom, and this will either be on. Uh, some curtains um, or this. I'm just going to build it up slowly. It's all um, about building. The Carrera marble that I use in all my kitchens. It's durable. It just always works. Um, and Lacanu. it looks the Lacanu oven. oven. <gasps> um, <gasps> I absolutely adore it. And you've slowly started to collect a few pieces. So you've yeah. bought the La Crusade and this is almost like in a burnt so mustard. Yeah, so I love fire. it. And um, I love how it ties in and how you've painted and that just, incredible. We're just waiting uh, to find some very authentic Provencal tiles to go at the back here. And we have a very traditional Provencal sink. The inspiration for the uh, arches at the top. Was from uh, La Marand in Avignon in their cookery school with the little pieces. I and love that. Also, Gosh, um, Mummy, you are so talented. It <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> And then it's a very much an indoor outdoor kitchen in this. We've got other kitchens going in outside as we will be living outside. This truly has been a passion project. Between Mark and my mother, they have planned every single teeny, tiny, itty bitty little detail. Marcus is the man that makes things happen and mummy has a vision and it truly has been brought to life. This kitchen, Mum, is so beautiful. So talk me through the rest of the plan. You've got this stunning, almost a little bit oversized console, but I absolutely love it. Well, and then up here, there are two big lamps, uh, a very rustic French kitchen table, I'm hoping it works, with six French country chairs covered in, as I said, Chelsea textiles, pale yellow check. Uh, fabric, frills, cushions, and all yeah, the bells and just, whistles. We just have to build it up slowly, um, but the colour, the overall colour, is just so happy. It's it such me... a happy place. Now, take us through to the outdoor kitchen. Now, this is something that is so magical. You bring your coffee out here in the morning, you listen to the cockerels, and you overlook this magical and peaceful garden. Look at the size of that outdoor table. Now you all know that as a family, we love to dance on tables and that is almost like a catwalk. I cannot wait. <laughs> it looks incredible. But this little sanctuary here, this is a beautiful little antique piece that we picked up, I'd say about six months ago, and we actually got it on the island. It's got this stunning marble top. You've got the iron mongery here, but what I really loved is the brass balls and just the detail. It's also slightly rusted, which makes it look super, super authentic. We've got the beautiful fireplace, You've got the table, and I love the tiling underneath. It's almost like a rug, and we're going to have a magnificent outdoor crystal chandelier. It's going to look incredible. So we have found the fabrics. <gasps> that is absolutely yes, that is a wall paper that was going to go in the back of the cabinets. But and that is the matching and fabric. And that is the white background shoemaker with the lemon. Oh, I see. Okay, that's really interesting. So you've got to decide whether you want the slightly beige yes. or whether you want the fresh white. This is going Ooh. to be a trim. I'll I do actually think. think that this matches the kitchen beautifully. So what do you think, Leonora? That for the curtains? The curtains. I do uh, love that fresh white and green. <gasps> but let me see the ticking. The ticking is rather beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. A bit grubby over the months that I've been hoarding it. Oh. Oh, uh, we love an so, or. <laughs> Or something. I actually think that's probably a bit too tonal. I like the fresh white. 
I like the fresh white. Decide because it's so hot at the moment, you can't actually visualize needing any curtains at all. But of course, we will be living here mainly in the winter months, and yeah. um, we will want to be a little bit cozy in the evenings. Yes. Oh my goodness, I just can't wait. I cannot wait until we can actually move in. We have beds, we have linen, we have pillows. Not sure why I'm pointing at the kitchen. I might as well turn you around. So we theoretically could move in. My father and Marcus want to actually move in tomorrow and sleep here. Mummy and I are a little bit apprehensive, but oh gosh, it's such a dream come true. And it's so lovely to finally see it coming together. My mum and Mark have been planning this for over a year now and do you know what it's been a little bit tiring having Mark backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards but to be honest with you our life is going to be backwards and forwards a lot of you have asked whether I will be moving to Mallorca the answer is no I will not be moving to Mallorca. We will basically be doing, we will be splitting our time between the UK and Mallorca. So England will always be home and Mark and I will be living in the UK predominantly. My parents will be living here predominantly and we'll be just flying between the two. So, you know, someone pinch me. It's, we are so lucky and so fortunate to be in that position and, and to live in a house like this, I just, I feel like I won the DNA lottery and it's such a special week and I'm just really excited to be able to share it with you guys and I truly hope you guys are going to love this as much as I am going to adore sharing it with you all. Anyway, let's take a little walk down the driveway. Fingers crossed, there'll be a very big truck at the end of it. <laughs> so, it's a bit of a secret. I'm not sure why I'm whispering because nobody can hear us. <laughs> so, we have a few little kittens and my father does not like cats it honestly breaks my heart so he doesn't like to encourage it but mummy and I are feeding the little kittens so this is the incredible fern house that you saw Claudia and I shooting in <gasps> look at all the ferns they have just exploded they are enormous in this beautiful little cherub fountain this is going to be a bit of a project in here. We're actually going to put some decking down and it's going to be a yoga den. But how tranquil is this? With the sound of the running water, all of these incredible ferns. We've also got the marble bath, which will be an ice bath for the mornings. And then we have our little kittens, which are out here. Oh, there she is. Oh my goodness, do you see her? I think I'm scaring her. There's one little kitten there. So we're putting out food and water for them. Do you see her? Hi, little gorgeous girly. You're so gorgeous. And out the back here is where our uh, greenhouses are. So we've got their little water and food. Oh, she's just divine. I feel like I'm scaring her. So I'm gonna let her go and get her water and her food. But how beautiful is this? truly magical. Let's go and have a little look at the outdoor kitchen. As it is so warm in Mallorca and in the evenings it cools down, it's just really lovely to be able to pop some meat on a barbecue and actually cook outside. So we have an amazing outdoor kitchen here. As you can see, it is completely empty. We've got the lovely fireplace here and then we're going to have a fabulous barbecue. And then obviously we'll have a sink, have a few ovens. We're actually thinking about having a pizza oven, but we're just exploring the options because obviously need to have the right <laughs> chimney. Um, as you can see, they obviously had something here in terms of a fire, but this is going to be really, really amazing. And look at the view over the lemon and lime trees. And then you've got the jasmine arbor goes all the way around here. It's all happening! It's all happening! <laughs> so we have an arctic truck that has actually blocked the entire 
village. The police have stopped him and he is unable to get even up the road to the house, let alone the driveway. So we have these wonderful local lads who are actually using their little vans to transport all of the furniture. We have 25 loads. <laughs> and this is the first one. Oh golly. Here she comes. <laughs> The next van is <laughs> reversing up to the front door. There's going to be a long few days. Daddy, you're in charge of telling everybody where it's going? Oh my goodness. I have been told my job, so I'm on the hunt for a sharp knife. And my job is to unpack all the Lloyd Loom furniture that will be going onto the breakfast terrace. Um, if I Sharp knives. Hmm. Have a look in here. Oh, I love that. All oh, the lights come on. God, this is literally the dream kitchen. Um, sharp knives. <laughs> right, I'm gonna find a sharp knife and then I will. <laughs> I will pop you on a time lapse because there is really rather a lot to unpack. It's also, Mummy, how hot would you say it is? Uh, 104 today. 104, which is about 35 at Celsius. It's a scorcher. Oh, found a knife. And this is my job. So I've got to unpack all of these beautiful Lloyd Loom chairs. So I'm actually going to pop you on this staircase and then pop you on a time lapse. <laughs> I am fairly hot and sweaty. <laughs> It's a real family affair. Oh, look at that. I remember when you bought that. It's gorgeous. But oh Tepri. Exactly. It's an Italian olive oil jar. With the lion, the yellow, and the blue, and the green. It's so gorgeous. My job is to unbox all of the kitchenware. So I've started off with the Dibor, which are these so pretty little Bella pearl bowls. So I've done two. I've got about a thousand to go. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop you here. Oh, let's do this. I love those glass bowls. So where did you find these? I recognize these, I've got a few of these at home. Yes, I saw them on the Nigella Dawson cookery. Um, Show. Oh wow, I see lots of grandma in there. <laughs> did, did we want to pack that? Okay. Oh, nice cushion. Okay, a little bit of needlepoint. I recognize this from America. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. I wondered, oh, I felt something and it's gone on my head. The painter just dropped paint on me. <laughs> the painter's dolloped paint on me <laughs> from above. No. Oh no. Oh dear. Be is it, on, it, on, is it on my head? Yeah. I felt it on my yeah. head. Yeah, it's all, it's all here. It's on here. <laughs> <laughs> It's not going to come off, it's really like... What do you mean it's not going to come well, off? It's not, it's not water-based paint. Can you take this? I need to wash my hands. Oh, be, God. Be careful you don't transfer paint onto things, then. I won't. I can transfer it. It's just that it has a really cute stuff. Lemons? Well, I was going to leave. Anybody for lemons? How am I going to get this off? Then could I suggest that you go and find an outside tap rather than that marble sink? I'm just doing my hands. I know, that's a 
it's not it's water not. based. It's thing. cute. Okay, well, where do I go then? What you need is a. Um, go and speak to the painters. Uh, you, need, you need turps. Yeah. Or petroleum, petrol. Oh my goodness! It's all our ch kitchen platters. It's so lovely. Every single platter has such a memory. So this one is actually from our home in America. It's so gorgeous. I don't even know where we bought this. And then obviously over the years we've been collecting them. My mum's passion is to collect platters. Kimberly has given us so many of her platters. Oh gosh, it's really starting to fill my home. Just taking out one of the wardrobes. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, watch the watch the corners. Oh. Oh. Mark, quickly go up the other staircase and see. Oh, I can't watch. Oh, it's gonna get over. I can't watch. I can't watch. Dad, no. Mark, can you? Oh, I can't watch. <gasps> I can't watch. I can't watch. I'm now in charge of feeding everybody. I'm just preparing one of my favorite uh, gazpacho recipes. I'm actually being a little bit lazy. We have these gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> excuse the banging. I think it comes with the territory. The gazpacho, already do. it's cold. But I love a chunky gazpacho. So when we used to live in America, they used to put all like chopped uh, tomatoes, chopped red onions, cucumbers, avocado, and it is so delicious. Also crispy croutons, however, I don't have those. Um, so I am just preparing this. It's all go, go, go. And it's just so lovely to see it all coming together. Oh, oh that looked like it really hurt. Oh, that looked like it really hurt. And which, is that the wooden bowl? It doesn't look much, but I really, you really you know when you banged it. Catch it, and it was jammed between the, the oh, bowl. Oh, go careful. It's so lovely to see everything come from like houses that we've had, pieces that we've been collecting over the last year, and actually pieces that we've had forever when I was growing up. It just is so wonderful, and all the trips that we've made to all the different little towns across the country in England buying antiques. Also, Ildesorg and all the gacha for outside. Mark and my wardrobes have arrived. Look at how beautiful this piece is here. It is stunning. So, we've now got another <laughs> pair of these to get up that staircase. Oh my good God, wish us luck. We are back at the house this morning. It's all go, go, go. We've got about 10 men in the swimming pool. Fingers crossed it's gonna be finished today because we have all of the water tankers coming tomorrow to fill it up. Gosh, it's so exciting. Everybody's on their morning break, so we have a slight moment of tranquility. So I thought that I would come and sit down and talk to you guys without all the banging and drilling that's going on at the moment. Oh, goodness me, I can feel something creepy crawly on my back. Oh, oh no. Okay, it's gone, I think it's gone. 
anyway, last night was absolutely gorgeous. If you guys haven't watched my birthday vlog, it was a very, very quiet, very chilled, tame birthday for me. I think I've just been running, probably say six weeks. I haven't had a day off. I haven't been sleeping very well. Work has been manic. And I think it was the first day where I actually just switched off. And if you haven't watched my birthday vlog, please do. I was an absolute mess. <laughs> I think I cried the entire day. Anyway, do you know what? We have off days sometimes. Bit of a shame that it was actually my birthday, but I've woken up this morning on the right side of the bed. I'm feeling so happy, so positive, extremely grateful, and I just can't wait to have the next few days being super productive in the house. We are still surrounded in lots of boxes. Obviously, we've got the majority of the furniture now in the hallway. The painters have still not finished in the drawing room, which is frustrating because the majority of the furniture is actually for the drawing room. And literally, I know it sounds ridiculous, but if you take your eyes off the ball for five minutes, they're gone. I literally was on a call with Anna this morning. I then walk out, they've all gone. And apparently they've gone for a breakfast break. It's They've now been gone for just over an hour and a half. Next, they're gonna go for lunch, then they have a siesta. It is so frustrating. I mean, I'm all one for giving people breaks, but they take it to a whole nother level. Anyway, it's just so gorgeous here. The gardens are truly magnificent. So actually, whilst the house is relatively empty, we'll take a little walk around the house. I'll give you guys a bit of an update. I will show you the kitchen because yesterday we unboxed so many bits, just so many things that are coming together. Lots of things from my grandmother's house and it's starting to truly feel like home, which is so special. And then we will take a wander around the garden because it is looking stunning. So. Let's take a little look in the hallway. I will spin you guys round. So this is currently the situation. <laughs> So we have all of this here, which is either super fragile or lampshades. We've got the chandelier in this big box here, which is gonna go into the drawing room. And this is all predominantly furniture for the drawing room. So this is gonna stay here until this room over here is finished. We have this beautiful console in place and this magnificent mirror is going to be above the console with two fabulous lamps. And then we're also gonna have two greyhounds sat on that marble top there, which is going to look fantastic. This is currently the situation in the drawing room. Yes. Still with the painters in here. No painters to be seen. <sighs> But anyway, as of tomorrow, we will be sleeping here, which is so exciting. As you can see, it is such a light and bright house. Have the incredible skylight up there. This used to actually have lots of like iron across it, which made it so dark. But now it has just lit up the main hallway. We're gonna have a large table here with an enormous olive tree. And then we don't know whether we should hang a chandelier from there or whether to have the table and go up or have the chandelier coming down. Haven't quite decided that, but look at this view. So when people walk into the house, they're looking down on the most divine view across the rose gardens, down the grand staircase, looking across the beautiful fountain. And it is quite something else. It's so magical. Another thing that I absolutely love is we have these gorgeous little tiny fountains which are for the dogs. I think the saucy songs are going to love it here. I love this little space that we have just outside the kitchen. These are the gorgeous chilies that we bought yesterday morning at the market. Aren't they the sweetest things you have ever seen? These gorgeous trellis uh, mirrors are actually going to go here, which is going to look fantastic. Look at the sunflowers. 
Aren't they so gorgeous? They honestly make me smile. And isn't this a fabulous pot? We got that from Ham Interiors and had it shipped over. And then all of these little yellow bowls actually came from our home in America. I grew up with all of these bowls. It's so funny to see. As you know, my mother has an absolute obsession with cockerels. So we have a few that have come from London. Ladies and gentlemen, what do we think of the new house? <laughs> Honestly, they look so gorgeous. This is genuinely a dream kitchen. So we have a little round table just for now. It's the wrong colored tablecloth, but you guys get the gist. We then have this amazing table here gorgeous lamps the lampshade is absolutely fabulous it hasn't yet arrived and this beautiful base is from ham interiors all of the herbs that we bought from the market yesterday this fantastic bowl is something that mark and myself bought in st paul de vance last summer and then this painting, I mean, this is something extremely special. And this is going to go, oh, oh, the painters are back. Thank goodness for that. So this painting is going to hang here and then we will have two incredible light fixtures that come off of the wall. As you can see, there has been an explosion of lemons in the kitchen. And again, so many amazing pieces that I remember. So for example, this was in our home in America all through my childhood. And it's just so lovely to see it's coming into place. Again, this gorgeous little lemon utensil pot. Up here we have more lemons. So these actually came from my grandmother's house. And my mother always used to say, we're going to have a Mallorca edit because they will look perfect in the kitchen. There is still so much to do in here. Obviously the television will not be there, but it's just perfect for now. I feel like I'm almost showing this to you far too early because I really want to show you how it is completely finished. But you know what? This whole thing is a journey and I truly wanted to share it with you. I can't tell you how many messages I had to share the project here. I also love this little baby breath reef up there. I think that looks so sweet. But anyway, as promised, let's go and have a little walk around the gardens. This table is something else. I absolutely adore it. I love how rustic it is. And the fact that it's like a runway. Oh, you guys know that we do love to dance on tables in this family. The scent is so strong. I literally feel as though I'm being spritzed in the face with a jasmine essence. Then this comes down to a gorgeous a little seating area. The chickens love to come in here and they sort of hide from the sunshine. And I tell you what, we've got so many gorgeous little baby chickens. They are so sweet. And then this comes down to this gorgeous little water feature. These two beautiful ladies with flowers on their heads. It's such a special little area of the garden. Then if we come down here, again, apologies for the builders and the grinders in the background. I feel that's just what we live with at the moment. <laughs> here we have all of the lemon trees. I'll be most certainly picking you for my vodka and tonic this evening. Lots of lemons and limes. I've taken you down here before, but this is the little children's swing and play area. Oh, goodness me, my ovaries are <laughs> aching looking at that. But no babies anytime soon. Please do not jump on that bandwagon. Then we have the sweetest little doll's house. They've built a little heart-shaped herb area here. And then we're thinking to paint this very, very pale blue with lemon shutters. And it is so sweet. 
Then the gardens are endless, so we will take a little walk around the most beautiful garden statue tree. This is where I think this garden is so special and things are meant to be. Now my grandmother had more cherubs than you can shake a stick at and when we walked around this garden there was an abundance of cherubs and it was almost as though my grandmother was saying yes this is the one. She would have loved it here. We then have this dashing gentleman up here. Hello, he is overseeing everybody. So we have an apple tree here. Gosh, they look absolutely enormous. And then over here, what on earth are these? Oh my goodness, we have pomegranates. I absolutely love pomegranates. It's such a versatile fruit. I love to put it actually in my salads. Quinoa, everything. I am most certainly going to pick one of you for my lunch today. Again, more stunning flowers. Really, I'm getting into the beds over here. I should be sticking to the paths, but I am not. Right, let's go this way. Be careful of all the irrigation. Oh, goodness me, we're safariing. We're safariing! Okay, back onto the path. We have lots more fruits. Again, this is the David Austin Rose Garden down here. I see a few roses, but not many. I think they may be quinces. But to be honest with you, that's a wild guess. Not quite sure what they are. Some more roses. These are so pretty. And it's gorgeous to see some color at this time of year down here. That is Claudio. Hola! <laughs> he is watering everything down here. I can't tell you how hot it is. I mean, every single plant in this garden has irrigation, but it is evaporating at the rate of knots because of how hot it is. Here we have some figs. I wonder whether any of them are ready to be picked. A little bit green. What do we have here? Some more apples. Marcus said there is a fig tree right at the very end. Hmm, where do we think this fig tree is? I fancy myself a fig. I wonder where they are. These gorgeous, vibrant blues. Look over there, stunning. Truly, this is one of the most magical places in the garden when it is in full bloom. It's almost like a pinch me moment. You think that you are living in a dream. Then we have a few more cherubs. And let's pop up here. I believe these were plums, but I think they may just have gone slightly over. Yes, nothing on there at the moment. This is more jasmine. I wish you could smell the essence through the camera, but it is so intense. I can't even find the words to explain it. Have a lot more lines. Oh, I could have set up my own market stall here and sell all the fruit. Here is another lemon. Look at him. He looks very juicy. Do you want to come into my vodka and tonic this evening? You look very juicy. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I feel like this vlog is going to be hours long. It's probably about 38 today. So it is truly scorching. I love this tree. It's one of the most special trees we have in the garden. And look at that view. <laughs> so we are looking up to the driveway. That is the beautiful bridge that we drive across to go into the main house. This place is so magical. Someone pinch me. Please, someone pinch me. Now, I don't want to bore any of you to death, but I do know that all of you adore gardens. So I'm gonna do a little bit more of the gardens. This is what the previous owners called the Poetry Dome. And we are going to grow the jasmine and the roses all the way over it. They kept it quite bare, but we would like to actually create a covered area where people can come and sit 
on this beautiful stone bench with the jasmine behind. Hang on a moment, I'm gonna turn this around. So we wanted somewhere where people could come and sit, enjoy the beautiful essence of jasmine, the roses growing over, and just sit and relax. And actually somewhere in the shade is going to take a little bit of time for the roses to grow over the entire dome, but I think it's going to be such a magical spot when it has done. Look at this jasmine. It is literally just here. Oh. Jasmine was the scent uh, for my wedding and there's just nothing. I always say this, it is amazing how the smell and the scent of something can just bring back so many happy memories and I can't wait to make so many happy memories here. <laughs> Up to where they are making a lot of noise at the pool. They have just a few more of the tiles to lay. They are currently grouting and once they finish grouting then the water can go in. So with a little bit of luck we may be able to have a dip in the pool tomorrow evening. Fingers crossed definitely on Friday. We'll just have to see how we go. So a few more cherubs we have here. <laughs> and lots of more roses. Look at this gorgeous little beauty. It's so, so sweet. I'm trying to show you a very tranquil garden tour. However, the builders have thought otherwise. So this is just going into the driveway. One thing we do have, which is very exciting, is a chicken coop. We have actually let the chickens out and they are currently just roaming around wild, but we don't know whether we need to pop them back in at night. So the chicken coop is actually just through here and it does actually need a bit of a makeover, I must admit. But this is the driveway. So you can go around the back, which is where we ask our builders to go round, or if we have any bigger vans or some trucks or maybe a heavy vehicle, because we're not sure about them going over the beautiful little a dainty bridge and then underneath the olive trees. But how stunning is this? So it is adorned in olive trees. You have these delicate, very pretty little pale pink flowers on either side that are just coming into flower. So this is actually going to be the most amazing sight of pale pink in just about a week. Fingers crossed I can show you that. Then you drive over this gorgeous bridge, overlooking yet again another cherub <laughs> and then the riverbed so I literally just showed you the view from the other side looking up and this is the view looking down how magical is that then we walk up here under a lot more olive trees and then we go up to the main house. I can't wait for the shutters all to come. It's such an incredible color. I think it's going to be iconic and something that everybody will remember. Now, please excuse all of the vans. I'm really showing this to you. <laughs> all the behind the scenes of the builders, all the rubble, all the limestone. Look at all of this stone from the pool. But this is the house. Now, the color that comes from these trees is something else. It is the most vibrant purple and it's truly magnificent. So that is the one door with the blue shutters on, but all of these windows will have shutters. We're going to have two more of these lanterns. We've got these mega pots outside the front door, which my mother is going to plant up with something incredible, I'm sure. And then that amazing door. Look at it. Wowzers. So we've just opened up the tiny door that goes through. The painters are back. Hurrah! So the painters are almost finished in the drawing room and then we can actually put all of this in place and have a good old look at it. We've also got all the artwork to come out. We need to have a little think about where that's going to go. It's one of the painters. They look very busy. <laughs> So this is the drawing room. What will be the drawing room? It's an utter mess at the moment. Can't believe I'm showing it to you like this, but at least you will be able to see in probably a month's time, the finished product. Everything will be done. The T's will be crossed, the I's will be dotted. All 
all the bells and whistles. And I just can't wait for this house to become a home. Let's go and have a little look at the pool area. Now this is one of my favorite places in the entire house. It is so special down here. We also, oh wowzers, I'm really sorry if you just saw that builder and his tummy out. Firstly, I love the color of these beautiful flowers. Now you will all know what these are. I have no idea. Look at this beautiful powder blue. Again, so similar to the shutters. And this gorgeous pink and overlooks these stunning palm trees. Now those are a few of my favorite trees in the entire garden. They are so beautiful. Now we have the swimming pool of dreams is currently got all of the men in here hola hola and they are almost finished so the tiles are almost finished they're doing the grouting on the outside oh it's almost finished i hope you can hear me over the grinding and the radio but as you can see we are almost finished so we've got the tankers coming tomorrow to fill it with water it also has this amazing pool house so i will just turn around so that you can see and we've got the table in place here with the fabulous chandelier so it needs to be cleaned it is so dusty from all the grinding it's this gorgeous black iron mongery and then we've got the stunning carrera marble top to go on the top of the table so this is rather oversized but i think it looks fabulous an utter mess, but this is actually going to be the treatment room. It's got a beautiful fireplace. We've got cupboards, lots of storage. We're gonna have the bed here, and it is going to be so gorgeous. People can come down to the pool for the day, and they can have a treatment going to be gorgeous and then the other side we have a full bathroom shower sauna steam room the radio is probably going to give me a copyright claim <laughs> we have a few of the mirrors that are just being stored in here at the moment we've got this amazing santani stone it is so gorgeous and this is all original which is so lovely in here we have the oh, the sauna which actually is relatively new. So we didn't need to replace this or actually do really anything to it. Needs a good old clean, but apart from that, it is gorgeous. Ferretta for a relaxing and deep tissue massage. This is the treatment room. Honestly, this is one of my favorite hotels on the island and their massages are phenomenal. These are the beautiful oils. Oh my goodness me, I cannot wait. I am back from the most heavenly massage at the Can Ferrata. Honestly, she put me into a whole another world of tranquility. Please excuse my slightly smooshy face. You know the face that you get when you've been sort of face down into a massage bed. <laughs> and it's been a couple of hours since I've had my massage. I've got my head down, got loads of work done. Claudia and I have been literally pounding out the content. Honestly, I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Actually, by the time that you see this, some of it would have gone live already. So please hop over to my Instagram and go and take a little look. Anyway, it is about quarter to seven. I poured myself a glass of rosé. I say, well, I've pretty much drank my glass of rosé. And the chaps have just left the pool area. So Marcus, mommy and daddy have headed down just to have a little look. And I believe tomorrow we have the tanker arriving with the water. I'm in my cozy, ready for a swim. However, there is no water yet. It is coming tomorrow. So Marcus, mummy and daddy are congregating down at the pool to see how the men have done today. <laughs> you are a lunatic, oh my goodness. Mummy is admiring the view and the boys are in the pool. Wonderful. Having a little drinky poo down there. 
I can't wait until it's full. Look at the stone. Absolutely beautiful. You've got all the lighting in. We've also put in the swimming machine, which is a fantastic bit of machinery. So basically it creates a current so that you're able to swim against it and really build muscle and create a really powerful swimmer. Also popped in these little steps here so that you can actually walk down the steps and then look across the gardens. All dressed and heading out for dinner. Daddy is looking very handsome. He was just talking about his pale blue shoes. Blue suede shoes. Blue suede shoes. Well, we are off to Porto Petro this evening. I haven't actually been there before. I could pound some Padron peppers. At Porto so, Petro. At Porto Petro. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Padron Pepper Connoisseur Queen is off to test the Padrons in Porta Petro. So this is the sweetest little port. This is Porta Petro. They only have a tiny little selection of restaurants. As you can see, it's such a local place and it looks divine. Marcus has been here a few times. However, I never have. So it's going to be gorgeous having some seafood literally on the water's edge. So, oh, yummy. let's try these padrons out. Mm. It's cooked very well. It's got a slight crunch to it. Lovely size. It's juicy. Could have a touch more salt, actually. I'd rate it about an eight and a half. <laughs> after a delightful evening. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Look at you guys. We might just have a nightcap. No, no, but you are not having another nightcap. We have had a wonderful evening in Porto Petro. My brother actually has just popped in with his girlfriend for a drink, which is lovely. They're staying at one of the new hotels and uh, it was super close to the restaurant, so he popped in for a drink. Anyway, it's been another long day of unboxing, boxing, obviously had a dreamy massage. We've got a fair few more days to go, so we're going to call it a night and I will see you guys bright eyed. Guess what? Bushy tailed tomorrow. Good morning, good morning. It is a beautiful day. We've got up early and we've actually driven to Manacor. My brother's 30th is in about a month's time and we're having the big celebration here. So I'm actually just going to meet the caterers to talk about table placings, settings, the menus, the food, the cocktails, all the different fabulous stations. So I'm literally just outside. We've just got here, it's called Tout Pont, and uh, I think it's gonna be fabulous. So let's go in and make some decisions. We have just arrived in their showroom. As you can see, they have so many different table setups. So we are going to literally walk around and pick every single detail between the chairs, the flowers, the candles, the crockery, the glassware, all of the table runners literally the candelabras it's fantastic here so mommy is just currently creating her dream setup obviously this is a boys party and it is in Mallorca so we want to keep the traditions of it being slightly laid back we want a little bit more of a boho theme nothing too crazy lots of linens I really like this style here where you've got the sort of slight crinkly effect to the linen on a white table and then I think we need to introduce the accents of the color at the house and go quite golden or brassy vibes so they have this fantastic setup over here so mummy is currently creating her dream setup i think that looks fantastic so we're planning on having white tables oh i love that and as you know there's lots of blues at the house so she has created this little table setup very pretty love the chair very boysy with the blue Frenchy, still my Yorkian when you've got the traditional eye cat rustico style 
Love it. Okay, are you still magpieing around? <laughs> She's sort of like shopping in here. She's wandering around and stealing items off of other tables. I think you're in your element, aren't you? I'm just loving it. I love it. to do with the margarita. <laughs> margarita, mummy. It's only just gone 10 a.m. It's 10.03. Oh yes, the lanterns up the driveway, Mum, would look fantastic. Love that. Oh, so sweet. I love that chicken wire. That's what, we need to actually buy things like this, Mummy. Yeah, that would be quite sweet. Nice picture moment as well. Nice picture moment. Do 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 do. Good morning. <laughs> um, I think the runny you've got is much nicer than that. Okay, well, I'm excited to create my own, and then we can compare, send pictures to Cameron, and then he can pick. Do we have a gold candlestick? I'm very impressed with that. As you know, I like the accents of slightly silver and gold. Yeah. So you've got a lovely runner. Yes, I will send this to him. So you've got the menu, the napkin like that, the table placing, the glassware. Gorgeous. So this is my setup. So very different for me. You've got the rustic linen table runner. You've got the candles, of which my candle is a little bit skew with. Mm. Cute little posies. You've got glasses. You've got the bamboo candleware. I've gone for a super rustic charger. Little plates. You've got the linen on the top. The menu. And then actually what I would do is I'd use fans for everybody and personalize their fans as their name placing. So that's what I would do. We've just sent videos to the birthday boy. We've also set it up onto a dark table as well with a separate chair. Far too many decisions. Far too many decisions. See, I think that looks really cool. And it's not too formal, not too wedding-y. Mm. Who knows? Feeling somewhat smugging <laughs> So Cammy went with the dark table, the more solid chair, which I love. I think it looks really elevated and actually a little bit more of an expensive and certainly more comfortable chair. And then he went with my setup. So excited. Anyway, we're just sitting down. I'm in desperate need of a coffee. I've not had any coffee this morning. And as you know, I need caffeine. And we are actually now going to go through all of the menu choices. And uh, there are quite a few different dietary requirements. Um, and we're gonna have loads of different stations. So we're gonna have a Hamon station, we're gonna have a Croquetta station. Cameron was actually living in Panama for a very long time and then in Miami. He speaks fluent Spanish, he's lived in Barcelona. Anyway, it's going to be the most incredible party. We have finished at Totti Pont. We had a very successful meeting this morning. We've decided pretty much on everything. We've just got to do the final um, wine order. Mummy has dragged me to an interior design shop. <laughs> <laughs> so it actually looks gorgeous. It's called Unicorn and we are in Manacor and it looks incredible. So let's go in and take a little look around. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be absolutely beautiful. Look at her, she's like a little truffle pig when it comes to interior design shops. <gasps> oh my goodness. So this is what we're thinking to decorate the casita like. Here we go. Divine, divine. I love that chandelier, mummy. Look at that. I think that's so I think effective. This is the vibe for the guest yes, I definitely um, think this is uh, the vibe. This is more Frenchy and this is more Mallorquian. Mallorquian, definitely. Uh, I love those pots. And they're also yeah. the right colouring. Stunning. Let's go and have a little bit of a mooch around. We just need to calm down. Oh, <gasps> they're reserved. Oh, no, they're not reserved. I'm sure they've got more. <laughs> I'm sure they've got more. We have some very similar ones to these at a home in England above our fireplace. But those are simply fabulous. Oh, sweet. For your guest casita, that would be fantastic. I love that. That is epic. 
definitely. I think we've definitely got to get a little bit more Mallorquian in and the casita. That, that mirror is also very nice. That is. Mummy is in her element. Oh, we do like those. We have those at home. Okay, we like, oh, that is lovely. I like the aqua blue. We love this sofa, but also look at the candles in their little baskets. Oh, comfortable. This is just gorgeous. Mark got terribly excited when he came in here with me because, of course, he has pulled the whole building project together. And I said, well, get the casita finished and we can get in here and get busy. <gasps> oh, really? He is, I can't say it, can I? You can say it. He is an interior designer. You've either got it or you haven't. He's definitely got it. He is so He's talented. And I can really bounce off. And trust, family, yeah. Because Leonora is much more into her. Uh, makeup and clothes and yeah, fashion getting, getting into the interior design world with her tablescapes and things like that but mark is mark can spend hours talking about pfa fabrics with me with yes so exciting but i love those candles I they think, are I gorgeous think i think we do i think we do no i think you i need and i'm unlike me to say but i think you need both you I need little so. and large that is so cute. It could work oh, in our nice. kitchen. You know, that could do, work. You know, it would go right over our sideboard. Do you think that's nice? I have to be honest. I think you could do better, but I think it's. I think it's beautiful. The yellow and the. It has. It has. I also love that side table. I know it's not quite the right colouring, but that is exceptional. But that would go into the casita. I think oh, that's, that's beautiful. We haven't even been into the casita this trip. So here we go. I have been told oh, we have some water. <laughs> the gents are still working on the pool, but we've had three tankers and there is water. It's a beautiful colour. This is so exciting. So we've had how many truckloads? Three. Three? And how many more do you think we've got to go? Another ten. Oh my god. It looks so gorgeous. I love the tiles. I love the colour. The chaps are working so hard to try and get it finished. I'm hoping, do you know what? I'm definitely going to be having a dip a bit later. I don't care that it's not full. There's at least some water in there. It's the next water tanker! <laughs> I don't think anybody has ever been so excited to fill their pool up as much as I am right now. As I am in charge of catering this week, whilst everything is literally up in the air, I have made a very, very quick lunch, literally with what we had in the fridge, and laid the table up with what we had in the cupboards. Doesn't that look so sweet? So we have some gorgeous cheese, we've got some little crispies, some ham and some salamis, red onion, tomato, avocado, and some fresh breads. Some delicious little dipperoonies. <laughs> is it cold? Oh, the first person to swim! Hey! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fantastic! Oh, Amazing! Okay, well that's another box done. Exactly. Well, okay. It does bring waves Box. of emotion when I unpack my last stuff, but I'm so happy I kept it. I know. And well, I bought it. it. I bought it before we even knew about it. Box number seven hundred and sixty-nine thousand. China Kitchen Parma. I think this is the sweetest little milk jug I have ever seen. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Gosh, it's absolutely divine. Okay. Right, I must say, Mum, you're going to have to uh, be quite, you know, no, good with how, how, we're, um, how you're storing it. I do all the gold on one level. Yeah, so I don't know how much gold we've got left. Another level of teacup. The marker pen sure will put that. Do you think it's too early for a glass of rosé? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's a memory, is it? Yes, it is. I love a glass of rosé. So Here we go. There's nothing like a bit of sustenance to keep us going. 
unpacking all of Grandma's stuff. And when I think about it, I was so heartbroken to have sold her beautiful little house. Just literally heartbroken. But I made a massive edit of boxes to come down to Mallorca. And we hadn't even bought a house in Mallorca at that stage, but I just packed it all up and wrote Palmer on all the boxes and I dreamt of us all having this beautiful you family basically home. Manifested it. And we you manifested, manifested it. The yeah. lemons we all well. manifested it. We manifested it there. Absolutely. Right. I need to bring you back. I love this. We're having a real deep DMC over here. No glitz, no glam, have absolutely no makeup on and just sweat. It is super um, hot. It is crazy hot. I can't even begin to tell you. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Right, back to the unpacking. Now, these are one of my favourite things from my grandmother's tea collection. Are they not the cutest little things you've ever seen? So these are Spode, and they are the Fleur de Lis. They are so sweet. I think Monica would absolutely die if she saw these. So cute. <gasps> Well, that was my great grandmother's, definitely. Oh the date on the back. Your grandmother's? My great grandmother's. Your great grandmother's, yeah. <gasps> that is so beautiful. It's, so it's not even, it's like stamped, but I can't see. Yeah, they, they often were a bit smudgy, yeah. the stamps, but that would be quite, quite bold. That's amazing. That's that amazing. is what it's doing with our yellow edit. Isn't it? Perfect. 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 I think you should put that into the actual main part of the kitchen. Yes. Yeah, so little espresso cups. Press. Come with the magic, please. People don't really have to put it on these days, but what we need to do is we need to find some beautiful trays. And when we serve uh, tea or coffee, yeah. uh, we can... Well, we've we got small silver trays at home that you can take a stick at. Why did you not bring some of those? Well, I don't think you serve tea on a silver tray. You serve tea... Um, I don't need like bamboo or rattan. And so who does really gorgeous one at the moment tray. is Mrs. Alice. Oh, she yes. does some really gorgeous, like scalloped edged rattan. Yeah, I adore Mrs. Alice. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, a little cup. So, Mum, what would be your top tips for interior design? Because everybody loved hearing about your entertaining and hosting top tips. But you, I mean, literally in your blood is into design, fabrics, paintings, prints. You have such a vision. And a lot of people don't have that. I don't have that. So what are you, for people that don't have it? I, I think it's either in you or it's not. But I've always collected things that I love, beautiful things. And the one thing I would say is if you collect something beautiful that you yeah. love, it will translate to a home that you live in. Another one in here. And yeah. this is almost like Grandma Goes to Morocco vibes. Oh my God, darling. 1970s Denby. <laughs> that's when I was a little girl growing up and I just thought that that's a memory. It was a vibe at the time, but you know, Every little object sometimes can just bring back those lovely memories, yes. And this was a yeah. thing, was it? Blank, blank. Oh, Den these are Denby, I don't know what those these are. These are very nine Very 1970s. Okay. Quite cute for a slice of toast in the morning, though. Quite cute for a slice of toast in the morning. And right, here is another one. That's oh, hilarious. Gosh, I tell you what, they well, are actually do tone in. I mean, I talk, I've spoken about Grandma so much on my YouTube channel, but she was the most glamorous human being, and that filtered through to her house. I mean, you came running through the other day with her hundreds of cushion pads, and she always, she would never let us sit on them. She'd go, darling, you know those came from Harrods? <laughs> and we would never have had to sit on them. She but was actually, she was the last of the Lana Turner stars. She definitely and she was. was the only person that I knew that could get three chandeliers in the downstairs blue. Yeah, very right. And I tell you what, I definitely have so much of my grandmother within me, don't I? Because mm -hmm. actually you're quite, believe so it or not. I adored you, darling. Oh, I adored her, but you're oh, here we go. <laughs> A little a gold ramekin dish. Now. Another gold ramekin Not that she ever did any cooking. I was brought up on Marks and Spencer's uh, chicken Kievs. 
<laughs> and petty foie peas. <laughs> I thought you, so where did you get your cooking passion from? I, because I learned my cooking I actually me. got my cooking passion um, because I was a homemaker very early and we, in the early 80s, we used to do dinner parties and my best male friend uh, was my darling Mike Tysers, who's so sadly I can't out away. And he was the best cook you have ever come across. Just an instinctive cook. Yeah, and he taught me virtually everything in the early yeah. days. And then, you know, do you know what I love? Actually? I've never followed a recipe in my life, but Didn't I have more cookery books. And Jane buy you a topping, uh, a carving board for your wedding gift. And do you know what Jane bought me for my wedding? She bought you the same. Oh, the exact same. same. I think it's so I got, I've still got the book book. It's a platter. Morning. Oh, it's another platter. What colour do you think it is? He's given a fine, fine. No, they no. don't, no. Oh, oh, yes. How lovely. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Right, there's another box. So Daddy and I have been to Canmel, we've picked up a takeaway and we're eating for the very first time at the new house, pizzas and sushi. Boys and girls, what do we think? Pretty incredible. Bon appetit everybody. Doesn't he look very dapper up there? Right, look at that sunset. That is quite something. Now we're off to find the figs. Here we go. I thought he was telling me a porky pie. <gasps> Look at that. I have a juicy one here. Oh my goodness gracious me. Hang on, mummy. That is absolutely. Just I push mean, a bite out of the side and be brave. Oh. Is that not lovely? Oh. So scrump. How did you even think to try that? I did. Because they're green. But they're figs. But figs are normally purple, baby. I know where I'll be coming tomorrow. <laughs> Delicioso. Most of them are not quite ready. Well, it has been a little bit of time since I spoke to you last. Well, I spoke to you guys yesterday, but we have had a full on day today. We've pretty much unboxed everything. We've still got more furniture arrive. We've got furniture to unwrap. The pool is full. Oh my goodness, it took another three loads this morning. They put all of the crystals and a few chemicals uh, just to get it going today. So sadly we can't swim in it. And then actually it's going to be a natural pool with just salts. So it's much better for the skin. But we did need to put a few chemicals in it to ensure that we kill any bacteria that may have come from the tankers. But anyway, you guys don't need to know that sort of thing. We have had a full on tidy up today. I've literally been on my hands and knees scraping the floor to try and get a little bit of paint that the builders Hmm, a bit naughty. I have dripped onto the marble, but it is really coming together. I can't believe I'm about to tell you that I have my first ever shower in the main house. I washed my hair, which proved a little bit difficult considering we don't actually have the glass panels on any of the showers yet. We have all the marble uh, showers in but no screens so i had to be very very careful with the shower head tonight is going to be the first ever night that we sleep at the new house i am so excited i still need to make the bed up i don't have a headboard we don't have much furniture but we have pillows we have a duvet and we have some linen it's just so incredible to be doing this as a family we have had the best week i mean i'm utterly exhausted but it has been the most memorable week i'm hoping tomorrow we might have a bit of a Diffington's. 
<laughs> I cannot wait, cannot wait. But anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. We need to put lots more sausage dogs in this the is, house. This is, this is no pee pee, no caca. Uh, perfect, no pee pee, no caca. <laughs> It is the same time, <laughs> but another evening. Happy Saturday, everybody. Well, happy whatever day it is that you are watching this. As you would have been able to see this morning, we hit the Santini market, very bright eyed. I also dropped Marcus off at the airport at 6 a.m. this morning. <laughs> He has gone off to Switzerland for the weekend and then tomorrow is my last day so I fly home tomorrow I've got a crazy Monday Tuesday Wednesday and then on Thursday we head to Portugal for one of my best friends weddings today has been I don't think I have words to sum up how heavenly today has been. In our family, we have a few words. We almost have our own family dictionary. I definitely have my own Leonora vocabulary. Um, so when you hear me say really random words that you think, is that a word? It's probably not, it's Leonora language. But we have this word in our family called lolling. So when somebody says, oh, what are you going to do this afternoon? Mostly it's used on holiday. And we say, oh, well that went well that went really well I've just dropped my entire vodka and tonic <laughs> all over myself including my wonderful white linen dress that is now completely see-through on my body really clever <laughs> Anyway, as I was trying to say, of which I'm now going to come over here and not try and balance my vodka and tonic, of which now I'm going to have to make another one, um, on my phone, which was on a cushion, as I was saying, we use this word called lolling. And today, we have lolled all day. As you can see, I am really rather rosy. I went for the roast today. We sat by the pool all day day. My father and I were literally bobbing up and down in the swimming pool, putting the world to right. He is just the most incredible human being in the world, talking about every single subject under the sun. And I, do you know what? I adore just having time to talk about just everything. We spoke so much about my business, which is really exciting. And he's just the very, very best. So having quality time with my dad, literally one-on-one, -on -one, never happens. And I've been with him all afternoon, which has just been the best, it's been the best day. I'm gonna try and balance that again. Honestly, I can't tell you, my bottom is absolutely soaked with vodka and tonic. Rougey chops will turn golden. And then this evening, we're just having a super chilled one. As I said, it is my last night tonight. I leave tomorrow, I head home, and we're just gonna make a delicious chicken Caesar salad. We're gonna sit over in the kitchen garden and, and just have a really chilled, wonderful evening after the craziest week of all time. Hello, everybody. I hope you are all well. So this morning is my last morning here in Mallorca. Obviously, I will be back very, very soon, but I must say, I am feeling really rather grateful to be going home. Look at this weather. 
We have had tropical storms here this morning. We've been running around like a maniacs trying to get all of the doors closed, all of the curtains hung up. Some of the doors are so new they've actually not been sealed yet. So we've literally had water running underneath the doors with the brand new white linen curtains. Gosh, it's all been happening. But if you don't laugh, you will cry. Anyway, talking about crying, I've had an email from British Airways this morning to say that my 4.50 flight has been delayed until 8.45. However, I still have to check in at the original check-in time. <laughs> so I need to be at the airport at sort of like half past two, three o'clock for a flight that's not taking off until quarter to nine. Yay! Yay for me! I'm afraid it's going to be an afternoon and an evening at Palmer Airport for me. <laughs> Super glam! But anyway, I will... Do you know what? I'll take you guys along with me today. Not glamorous at all. I feel like none of this vlog has been glamorous. None of this vlog has been about makeup or fashion or really anything that a lot of you come to my channel for. So I'm really sorry about that. But I truly hope you guys have enjoyed this one. It's meant so much to me to be able to share such a special time with you. I'm also mindful that I haven't showed you the house finished. But it's not finished yet so I'm going to save the big reveal until when we come back for my brother's 30th birthday all the I's will be dotted all the T's will be crossed the bells and whistles will be on we'll leave mommy and Marcus to do what they do best and this place is going to be magical <laughs> look at this rain yesterday it was a scorcher and yes i burnt my bottom i was also wearing factor 50 on my face but i got a really gorgeous glow i'm hoping this sort of rougey lobster look is going to turn into a bronzed glow anyway my bags are packed i need to pop them in the car oh my goodness gracious me i am absolutely soaked it is torrential here. I've given mummy my umbrella. I mean, look at my hair. I look like I've just stepped outside a <laughs> shower. Look at this. I've never thought I really wanted the heated seat on more than today. And here's mummy. My flight has now been delayed until 9.30. Yay! So I'm going to go to the airport, drop off the car and ask them whether I can possibly check my bag, leave, go to Palma and get some jobs done with mummy and daddy and then go back to the airport two hours before my flight. Keep your fingers crossed. Anyway, I'm going to try and try off. You nice and dry there, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, being very smug. I did, I did. Is there a towel? No, you're going to have this right okay. around you. It's okay. All right. Well, we will see you when we get to the airport or Palmer. I've got mama with me. <laughs> She's going to come with me. And oh, thank you. <laughs> see, I've got it all dripping <laughs> off my nose. Hello, everybody. I am officially back on UK soil. My goodness. Gracious me, was that a journey. <sighs> After being told that my flight was significantly delayed, I was on at the 4.50, it then said 7.50, 8.20, 9.50, 10-something, 11-something. We finally took off at 11.50. We landed roughly around about 1 a.m. UK time. And then I went down to baggage reclaim. Yay for me! Guess what? They lost my suitcase. So my suitcase wasn't put on the plane. So at about 2.30, I thought this is becoming an absolute joke. And meanwhile, Heathrow Airport was like a war zone. You'd think at 2 a.m. it might be quiet. And trust me, this is before the havoc broke loose. So we were flying in and UK traffic control were being a little bit iffy, but actually we couldn't take off because of the weather in Mallorca. We flew through the thick of it. I've never been quite so nervous and actually the gentleman who was sat next to me, we held hands for most of the journey. 
<laughs> he was the nicest gentleman and you know what I am a, a good flyer but when it comes to turbulence and like serious turbulence I got really nervous. The aeroplane was literally just, it felt like it was dropping. It was horrible and I was tired and it was just awful. Anyway, feeling very grateful to be home. So that was most certainly not fun. And by the time I got home, I think it was about 3 a.m., 3.15. So yesterday was a bit of a write-off. So it's actually, in fact, Tuesday today. I got home at 3 a.m. on Monday morning. Meanwhile, I was meant to be home on Sunday afternoon. So yesterday was a bit of a write-off. I have also got to admit that I've had one of the worst Worst migraines I've ever had in my life and sadly I am a migraine sufferer and I do have um, prescription medication for it. Could I find it? No chance. I honestly thought my head was going to combust. I had an ice pack around my head, I was laying in a pitch black room, but I don't know if anybody else suffers. It makes me violently sick. And the pressure of obviously, I feel like way too much information here. The pressure from being ill literally makes me feel that my head is going to explode. So thankfully, John managed to get me as the strongest migraine medication he possibly could over the counter. And I tried to sleep for most of the day, laying in a pitch black room, a cold press across my eyes and an ice pack around my head. So sadly, yesterday was a bit of a write off as I really wanted to come on and speak to you, but that was genuinely not the case. Anyway, this morning I was up bright eyed, feeling so much better. I can definitely feel it. If any of you suffer from migraines, you'll know the feeling like at the backs of your eyes and any flashing lights. But anyway, I had a big, I had actually three big campaigns to shoot this morning which I can't wait to share with you. They are amazing. We did street style today, the most insane location in London. So I'm really excited to share that with you. And then a few meetings this afternoon. I've spoken to you guys a little bit about um, creating my own brand, which is very much in the pipeline. Uh, but I feel that with things like this, unless it is epic i'm not willing to launch it so brand strategy marketing strategy product strategy the thing that i'm trying to create has to be creme de la creme on every single level and so there's a lot of research that goes into that and so i'm really at that stage speaking to so many people absorbing as much knowledge and experience and advice that I possibly can. So I'm really excited and today, well, this afternoon, I've had a few meetings to talk about it and uh, <sighs> so much going on in my brain. It's so exciting. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent and this whole vlog has been about Mallorca. Well, all I can say is welcome home. <laughs> we are back in England with a bang. And uh, do you know what? I'm so glad that I was able to share as much as I possibly could on this trip to Mallorca. There was no glitz. There was no glam. <laughs> you literally saw me sitting on the floor unboxing box after box after box. We have made the most special family memories in the last week. Chatting to mummy. Oh, you're saying hello. You're saying hello, Slotsville. Hey, you're gorgeous. Yeah having the most incredible conversations with my mum, remembering my grandmother, all of her gorgeous bits that were in her house. You got to see so much more of the house in Mallorca, which I'm, I'm really excited about. And I'm also beyond, beyond excited. Uh, excuse me, you're wet and I'm wearing, no way, absolutely not, sorry, no. I'm wearing cream, cashmere. No way am I having a wet sausage on my lap. I'll go and get a towel and then you can sit with me. But that's a no for now. Sorry, baby. 
As I was saying, I am so excited to be able to share the house with all the bells, all the whist whistles completely finished. And that is going to be most likely at the end of September when we go back for my brother's 30th birthday. I'm actually staying on a week afterwards as I've got a huge shoot out there. So Claudia will be flying out with me. I know you guys love Claudia almost as much as me. She is just an angel through and through. But I feel that it is time to bring this vlog to an end. You guys know that I could literally sit here and chat to you for hours. But I've got some very needy dash hounds that need some serious attention. I've also got to get through a whole heap of emails this evening. I've got a crazy day planned tomorrow with Anna. And yeah, you guys know how it goes. Anyway, I truly hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. It's been so special bringing you along with me and my family. I feel like you're really, really getting to know my family now and uh, you guys will know that I, I worship them and I feel like I've won the DNA lottery. I am so lucky and I'm so fortunate and I'm also so blessed to have all of you. So I truly hope you guys have enjoyed watching. If you haven't already, I would be so grateful if you hit the subscribe. It just means that I can keep creating content that I hope you guys are enjoying. Any questions, always feel free to leave a little comment below. Any support is gratefully received and I love you all. Have a great evening, day, morning, whatever time you are watching this vlog. And as always, sending you all so much love. Whew.